Hi there, this is Becky Berg, and welcome to the Landmark Numbers and Branching video um, from the Addition and Subtraction series. Before we go any further, I'd like to encourage you to download the Branching Strategy Practice document. So valuable to just work out these problems, pause the video when you prefer, um, really helps you engage as a learner and um, better understand the processes you'll see here. So remember, core math strategies are based on place value properties and that relational understanding because that, those particular um, strategies can really build and assist us with things that are more complex as we move into additional standards and ideas. Also today, we're really going to um, be reminded of the power of the commutative property or switching the order of the numbers and still ending up with the same sum, for example and also that associative property of, you know, how can we decompose numbers and associate these numbers in different ways so that we get to those landmark or friendly numbers, okay? Let's just keep in mind that as we work with number bonds um, in those primary grades that we're seeing those number bonds both vertically and horizontally, okay? Because what you'll see here is, you know, maybe they see these number bonds with circles and with squares and they go horizontally for a while, but you'll see that it's really helpful for them to see them vertically as you can see as we work into branching. Um, we basically just get rid of those shapes and now we have just the numbers listed there. All right, so you can go ahead and grab a piece of paper or your practice sheet and watch and then join me so that you can practice these strategies. Feel free to pause the video at any time, okay? So let's do our first example. So 8 plus 17. Now, using the branching strategy, I just think about how can I decompose these numbers to make friendlier landmark numbers. So I'm going to think of 2 plus 15 being the same as, notice this looks kind of like an equal sign that's slanted, and then I go ahead and combine 8 and 2. So 8 plus 2 is 10, plus 15 equals 25. Now you might have kids that say, oh, I took 2 from the 17 and got 10, and then I added 15. This is a visual representation of that, mm -hmm. okay? You could also have your students represent this with equations of 8 plus 2 equals 10, and then 10 plus 15 equals 25. So you can set those parameters, okay? Let's do another one. How about... 9 plus 6. Now, you know, we used friendly or near 10s as a strategy, so I think branching can really show that, where here we think of this as 1 plus 5 is the same as 6. So 9 plus 6 is really the same as 10 plus 5. So you've probably done these with 10 frame cards or visuals, um, and now we can see it being a little bit more abstract here, okay? One way to decompose that. What we don't want to do is tell kids you have to branch it this way. Allow them to make sense of it and decompose it in a way that's friendly to them. Okay, let's take a look at 57 plus 9. Now I can choose to decompose either of these numbers, but I think I'm going to look at this as 1 plus 56 is the same as 57. Okay. So I have 56 plus 10 equals 66. Is it reasonable? No. Oh, 57 plus 10 would be 67, but it's one less, so 66. Yes, it is reasonable. Let's do 48 plus 34. All right, so how can I think about this? I'm going to go ahead and actually do this couple different ways. I'm going to think about this as 2 plus 32. Okay, getting to multiples of 10 um, is a very powerful strategy. And so here we have 50 plus 32 equals 82. So when in Common Core it's asking us to count from 10, add 10 mentally um, from any given number, subtract 10 from any given number, you can see how knowing your combinations of 10 
be it 8 and 2 is 10, will get me to 50. It, that's critical in any of these efficient strategies. Okay. Now another way we could look at 48 plus 34, and I'm going to go ahead and get a clean slate here, is we can always break apart by place value. Okay. So keep in mind that decomposing by place value can be a very powerful strategy. So we could look at it as 40 plus 8 and 34 as 30 plus 40, and then here we have 70, 40 plus 30 is 70, plus 12 equals 82, okay? Now, sometimes what kids kind of do is they get shortcuts using this branching strategy. And they start doing something like this, where they go 40 plus 30 is 70, 8 plus 4 is 12, all right? How powerful for them to be able to look at it, how it makes sense to them, okay? Let's take a look at the problem on page 2, 86 plus 199. All right, and notice that, you know, 199 is really close to a landmark number. So as you start doing branching with kids, being very intentional about the problems and the numbers that you start with is really important. So, of course, I could think of this as 85 plus 1. So here, 199 plus 1 is 200 plus 85 equals 285. Let's go ahead. I'm going to jump down to 27 plus 680. Reminding your kids about that commutative property, I can start with either number as I'm adding, okay? So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and break this apart by 7 plus 20 equals 27, okay? And 680 plus 20 more equals 700 plus 7 or 707. Once again, knowing that 80 and 20, those friendly combinations of 10, is 100, gets me to the next 100, is critical, okay? Is it reasonable as I look at the quantities? It is, okay? Now, there's other ways we could have broken this number down, okay? But that was the one way that I chose to do that. Thanks for joining me, and I hope that you were able to see the power of decomposing and creating those quantities that are friendlier to work with, really using that associative property. Um, keep in mind that you can continue your journey. There are additional practice problems on your sheet. Um, you'll even see how it does continue on into um, fractional quantities in which that landmark number might be getting to a friendly half or a friendly whole and beyond. So I think um, by taking a look at the additional practice on this practice sheet, you will see that not only does this strategy of decomposing and getting to these landmark quantities work with addition and subtraction of whole numbers, but it will work in other areas and other contexts as well. So um, thank you so much for uh, joining me, and I hope this information was valuable to you.